Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. I know I missed y'all. I know I missed y'all. So I know y'all miss me, right? I know it. I know it. It's a family affair over here. Yes. I get down. Y'all get down. We all get down. All right? And we talk shit until we make it make sense. But that's my other channel. Please make sure you're going over there and liking, sharing, and subscribing. But y'all see who the headliner for today. Yes. We got the headliner, Brandy. Norwood is what they call her. Moesha. Yes, family, family, family. What is going on with Miss Brandy? She don't been in the game too long to be calling herself missing nutritious foods and stuff of that nature. What is going on? I mean, she's been on TV. She's she's an actress. Okay, she's a singer. She's a producer. She's a writer. What is the problem? And Brandy has always been skinny. So is that not a natural skinny, Brandy? Is that not a natural skinny? Are you working on that skinniness, girl? Where you doing supplements, weight loss supplements, and eating nothing but salad, salad, and more salad? Girl, no ma'am, no Lord, no God. You have been in the game too long to be sitting there trying to starve yourself. Now, I could see if you had a cold or the flu or something like that and you were throwing up all the time. Then I could see, you know, you being dehydrated or dehydrated. But, girl, you are not young and you should not be worried about what people think or say. Whether if you gain a little weight, a lot of weight, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Exercise. Yeah, that's what they tell me. And I've been exercising for the last three days, so we'll tell y'all how things are going did i lose some pounds or inches to me it looked like some inches because i'm craving some carrot cake lord i'm craving some carrot cake but i'm staying i'm staying true on how to carrot cake or, or dessert only on uh fridays or saturdays yes because you can't deprive yourself or you'll go crazy you'll be out there fighting everybody okay because your lack of food your lack of sweet your lack of sugar okay so you got to have a balance in all these things you can't just go full throttle on eating healthy okay because that nine times out of ten gonna give yourself a headache you're gonna hit everybody you look in the face at and you're just gonna be wanting to hit somebody all right and that's probably because you're low on carbs okay carbs they're your friend in moderation people all right but don't forget to do all these things that are coming across your screen y'all see it right y'all see it uh-huh because y'all weren't listening to me so i thought i'd just keep getting a little button and pressing so you to get in y'all mind program y'all to go on and subscribe to the, ch the channel family damn but anyway welcome 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 you know it's a family affair but we i mean a lot of outlets had her story but I went with the Yahoo Entertainment one, okay, because it talked a little bit about what I had heard in the public eye about it had some factors to do with dehydration. But um, that's what's being said, so that's the one I'm going to read. So that's Yahoo.com. <coughs> Excuse me. We have Rachel Shufelt or something to that degree. She works, I don't know if she's an independent contractor or she's employed over there, but she's writing an article for them about Brandy. She titles it, Brandy says she's suffering from dehydration and low amounts of nutrition following a report that she had a possible seizure. Now, hey, let's stop right there. What do you mean you had low nutrition? What do you mean you were dehydrated? Were you throwing up, girl? Would you, what was going on? Do you got COVID? Do you got a stomach virus? You ate some food that didn't agree with you. I know you ain't eating salad over there thinking that's a free food. At least that's what I learned when I was in nutrition classes, okay? Trying to build up my health, all right? 
<laughs> you can't eat raw uh, vegetables all the time, too, girl. You're going to get lightheaded and you're going to fall out. Is that what happened, girl? And you could trigger a heart attack or a seizure because you're lack. You, you, you just, your, your body's out of uh, equilibrium. Is that right, y'all? Shit, I can't remember. Uh, but, you know, your equilibrium is off. You got too much of something and not enough for the other thing. You're unbalanced. You're unstable. And, of course, you will land yourself into the hospital. Now, same thing happened to my daughter. That's why I'm so educated about this. She was going around here trying to be thin, 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 thin. Her friends were thin, and she wanted to be thin with them and all that stuff. And she just was, you know, she I would think she would be eating, you know, because I can't watch her. She in high school. And I already told her about, you know, eating proper stuff. You don't want to eat too much. You don't want to eat too little either. But you can't go on what your friends are saying. You see what I'm saying? So, anyway, it was a New Year. I mean, Christmas Eve. And we were out and about. And the child said she felt like she was going to faint. I thought, hell, I was going to faint myself. God, we're tired of walking around there in the, um, in the uh, shopping center. And lo and behold, we got up there to check out. Child fell flat on me, okay, of anything. Oh, so we put her to the floor, of course, and then, you know, everybody's surrounded by us, you know, asking me all these crazy questions and shit, and I'm answering them like I'm crazy as well. Called the paramedics, they got there, and we took her on to the hospital. Come to find out, she was lack of nutrition, and she admitted to me that she was starving half those days when I was asking her, was she eating? You know, because I didn't know that she was getting a little thin, and I told her, you know, don't be trying to be like folks, huh? so, you know, find your own way. And trying to starve yourself to lose weight. Yeah, you're going to lose the weight, but you're going to be pitiful. And you might end up having a heart attack or stroke or any of these things. And it seems like that's what happened to Miss Brandy over there. Like, girl, you've been a part of the business too long. And like I said, I don't know if you're naturally thin. Because you never had a weight issue. And you never really look anorexic. You just look like you were doing what you needed to do. Uh, to maintain that stability of that weight. Uh you know you were going with because you know if you get a little bit off of your bmi body mass and this they quit yeah they are quick to holler obesity you know what i'm saying i'm like damn y'all couldn't have thought up a better word than that but you know when they call you obesity the shit here home it do it do it do but um Let's get into this article because y'all don't heard me rant on what I felt it was. And I gave y'all an illustration by using my daughter, okay? But anyway, we're going into this um, report. It says singer and actress Brandy said Wednesday that she um, she's on the mend. I was at the report that she's been hospitalized following a possible seizure at her home. To my beloved fans, friends, and stars, thank you for sending love excuse me love and light my way she wrote on social media i am following doctor's orders and getting the rest i need due to dehydration and low amounts of nutrition thank you for your prayers and support grateful for you all see you soon now you know i'm just gonna throw it out there because it just came to me when she was doing this public statement which she should let her pr person did the talking for her because she sounded kind of foolish all right, so uh, I'm like, girl, are you doing all this to get attention? Are you doing all of this just to be in social media? Because everybody seems like they out. Like the stars are dying, the rappers dying, and the uh, stars are ending shows and coming back trying to be on other shows. I mean, it's just chaos out there in them streets right about now. So are you trying to have your name out there by getting yourself knowingly getting dehydrated as well as not eating enough to sustain you standing on your feet girl y'all need to stop with this fake ass shit just to be in the news do something uh, exciting and special for somebody get something back that's a good way to keep your name out there in them streets okay oh, but anyway moving back to the article it says uh her words followed a tmz report that the singer and actress was recovering at a hospital one day after paramedics had responded to a call that the Grammy winner suffered a possible seizure. Representatives from Brandy and the Los Angeles Police Department did not respond to Yahoo Entertainment Entertainers I'm sorry, entertainment request for comment. Brandy forty three, born Brandy Norwood, is the artist behind seven studio albums, most recently twenty twenties B seven and a string of its 
all hits over the decades, including The Boy's Mind with Monica, Have You Ever, and Sitting Up in My Room. She starred in projects such as Beloved, 90s Comet, Moesha, Disney, 1997 live action TV movie, Cinderella, and 1998 horror movie sequel, I Still Know What You Did, last summer. Her credits also include TV's one on one, 90210, The Game, Drop Dead Diva and Queens. 2015, she played Roxy Hart in a Broadway production of Chicago. Her IMDb page lists a handful of projects in the works among them, among them Best Christmas, ever with the Heather Graham and J Jason Biggs in Thriller the Front Room. Okay. In February 2021, she told BT what has kept her grounded after decades of fan fame. I believe in God. Mm. I believe in morals, mm, values, respect, and integrity. I have a beautiful family foundation, said Brandy, who's the mom of an adult daughter, Sarah, uh, Sari. Um, I just know that I have a different perspective on why I'm here. I feel like being a vessel and being an example is my higher purpose that keeps me humble and that keeps me grounded. It keeps it, n wait a minute, it keeps it not about me but about the work that I'm here to do to inspire others. And that's what it's all about for me now. Okay, now my sidebar, Brandon, if you're saying all those poetic type things and you're here for a purpose, why the hell are you out there starving yourself to death, baby? See, you see how double-minded that is? That's a double-minded way of thinking, and that's not going to get you anywhere but trouble. So, Brandon, you need to sit down. And, and, and talk to your daughter about this as well. Because I think she was going into some issues about her weight at her age. And she didn't like it. I mean, yes, you got money. You can go get, get rid of the weight quick, fast, in a hurry. You know, you can go to one of those fat farms. They slim you down by giving you all these liquids and stuff. And then you come back. You, you're good for a while. And then you just blow back up. Then you got... um You got uh, the keto diet the mediterranean diet you got all these diets going around and shit don't work the best thing anybody can do for themselves is eat properly and exercise and lord knows exercise just damn sure what i don't like to do oh my god i don't like to do it but if you're gonna do it the healthy way it's gonna have some exertment there you're gonna have to do the work you can't cheat and take these vitamin supplements and these other supplement appetite suppressant supplements and or go get it cut out sucked out or whatever and thinking you can go back to doing the things that you were doing that made you become obese okay it's, it doesn't work if you don't want to do the hard work i understand that but just know the fat is going to come back because you ain't stop eating you ain't stop eating the way you know you need to be eating Okay, but you're going to do what you want to do, and it just is what it is. That's the same for Candy and uh, her daughter, Riley. You know, they, they got the game messed up. They got the game messed up. But I guess when you want to be a part of the entertainment field, they have their own set rules that you're going to have to follow. And you can't be fat up in there because I know they're getting Liz over a hard time. She don't know if she's coming or going. She really don't. You know, because first she was saying she liked her weight. She's proud of her weight and all this, that, and the third. Though we thought there was some flawed thinking because don't nobody really want to be fat. They don't want to be obese. They don't want to be like uh, a sumo wrestler out there. Okay, so some people try the quick way, fast way. But if you don't understand, it's all mental. Weight loss is mental. It has nothing to do with other things or other factors like the food and the exercise. Hell, you might not want to exercise one day. Okay, it's mental. Are you going to psych yourself up and get that into that right mind and go on and do what you need to do? Just take 10 or 15 minutes out your day. Me, I'm on the 10 minutes of treadmill because I can't do no more. Child be long-winded. You hear me? I be up and above it like I'm finna fall out once, once I get up to that 13th step. <laughs> Woo! I'm like, Lord, why didn't build an elevator in these houses? Because it's just too much. It's just really too much. But, you know, when you sit there, you, you be idle or complacent and you just eat, 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 you know. And I had a stint when I had COVID back in January and pneumonia. I don't think I want to do with it. But, hell, I ain't had no energy anyway because, like I said, it, it felt like an elephant sitting on my chest. But once we got everything, you know, working real well, I had the right medication. I was getting the rest and, and stuff of that nature. Child, I was eating like I, 
I was eating like it wasn't nobody business. You hear me? I was just eating, eating. And all the shit was bad. All the shit was bad, but it was good. I'm telling you, it was good, honey. Because I, I eat for anything. Uh, what do you call it? Because I'm an emotional eater. I eat when something happened that's good. I eat for something that's happened that's bad. Hell, you can have a fish fry down the street. And I'm like, well, let's serve up some cake. <laughs> I'm like the uh, golden girls. You know, when they have issues, everything is resolved over food. That's me. Yeah, all day, every day. But that's something mentally I have to get in check. Okay? Because I know, you know, I need to lose the extra weight. I'll feel much better. I might want, might not have to be on my uh, sleep apnea, ap- uh, apnea machine and all of those snatches. But I do know it's one day at a time. I fight with it every day. You know what I'm saying? What I'm going to do. What I should do. What I can do. You know, I'm going, all this going through my mind. But like I said, I've been steady for three days. I've been three days steady with exercising and drinking more water than consuming either juice or, uh, what do you call it, uh, or ginger ale because that's my favorite drink. But, yeah, I, I, I'm very surprised that Brandy, you know, in these days and times, I know she's only human, and we do fall for the okie doke thinking, you know, uh, we need to be looking like this. We need to be looking like that. And maybe in Hollywood that is something that you have to do. And she's a part of that life, so she knows what she has to do, which is a bad thing, uh, because black people's body is totally different than Caucasian women. You know, we got a little bit more junk in the trunk, and we always got those perfect, well-made, big sitting-up titties, okay? So, <clears throat> it just is what it is. But our prayers and condolences go up to um, Miss Brandy Norwood, and hopefully she can get it together if she was over there starving herself. Oh, child, she need to be hit upside of her head, okay? Because her daughter is watching everything. Everything her mother does. And if she feels her mother's going to do all this and that to stay thin, what you think is going to happen when she starts gaining a little weight and she's feeling a little, you know, uh, she's, you know, she's having a mental day with her body and her structure of her body and why it ain't looking like it's supposed to be looking like, like other thin people. So she's going to have to get it under control so her daughter won't have that uh, effect or that negativity coming towards her when she starts gaining a little weight here and there. But that's all I got. Y'all ain't got no more. And I'll see y'all family on the next video. Okay? Bye-bye.